Fife Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel, Fife's premier wedding venue. Uh, Todd, congratulations on, on that big win tonight. What was your, your take on that win over the Northern Panthers? Well, I think that it's important to um, look at the weekend as a whole. Um, we did not play last evening in Belfast like the team uh, that we want to be or um, how we ever want to play at all. Um, we challenged the team and individuals to be better tonight and it's heartening as a coaching staff that they answered the bell and they came out with a pretty emphatic performance against a, a very good ice hockey club. Um, and even at points when it was when it was one one, I mean five could have been four or five five goals up. There's so many chances and across the whole, all, all the periods. We had a couple of great quality scoring chances. I think that we are possibly guilty at times of maybe overplaying um, and and got ourselves caught a bit. But uh, Shane was a steady enforce back there, and uh, the guys are playing very confidently in front of him right now. Just the, the ideal start to the, the league campaign as well. Oh, certainly. Uh, um, you looked at our schedule, it's a very tough month. You, you know, you see Belfast a couple times, you see Nottingham, Cardiff. Like, this is a tough, tough month, especially being short bodies. Um, what uh, our defense are accomplishing right now um, is um, exceptional because make no bones about it that playing short in this league uh, takes its toll uh, physically and mentally. Um, it's tough, but they're doing a hell of a job back right there. Uh, Phil should be skating back with us this week, lightly to begin. But, I mean, that's a, that's a heartening sign and something that we really need. Um, there's so many great, great performances tonight. I always pick out the man of the match, uh, Matt Siska, and just how, how great a signing is, is, has, has he been so far? Um, yeah, uh, 100%. I mean, Sisk, you, you see he's capable of making special plays. Um, it's getting these guys playing together as units, um, as a team, a and every you know we've only been playing together for a couple of weekends, but it's growing. They're a tight bunch. We have quality individuals, and you know, okay, we had a few guys with a few monkeys on their backs, which got shaken off rapidly tonight. Um, it was nice to see Sisk um, grab that goal. I mean, he had a number of quality scoring chances over the last couple of weekends. He's only going to get better and better for us. Um, and same thing with Shabes. I thought that was possibly Chase's best performance for us. Um, he's a good hockey player, and, and if we get performances like that, um, it's only going to make us better as a team. Um, in the last few seasons in the Elite League, it's always maybe taken the, the, our netminder or maybe a few games to kind of find their feet, but Shane Owen's just been fantastic at the ground running since he's come in. Well, like I said, I mean, hockey is a funny old game. It's, uh, it's a game of, of confidence and belief. When you have a steady influence like Shane behind you, um, you saw he made uh, a number of key saves for us tonight at big points of that hockey game, um, and, and the boys feed off that. And you see um, uh, how tight they they want to play in front of them. Guys are committed to playing the system that we want to implement um, in front of Shane, and you know they're doing it because um, they believe in him and they want to do well for him and for a coach and you know for a team that's a that's a, a big bonus and you know um you know shane's going to be good for us this season um just to comment on the the noise in the building tonight it was just the, almost like the roof was going to come off sometimes when we when were scoring goals tonight well uh, yeah i know that um i think in that third period uh, when we took the lead i think it might have been foxy's goal um place erupted i mean we have the team that's capable of, of uh, uh, I guess the word I'm looking for is the crowd will fall in love with this team if we play um, like we, we we're capable of and want to um, and a huge advantage in this building um, when you have a lead with this crowd on your side uh, this building is a very formidable place to come and uh, you, you know it, it's good the, the, the guys really appreciate um, the support. There's a positive feel about the building, which is huge. It's probably a team that my initial reactions, and it's really only initial, is that this, this crowd has been crying out for for a long time. It's the type of hockey they like watching. Um, but we need to be that good 
every night if we want to compete in this league. And it's going to take big performances night in, night out. You just can't take nights off in this league. Just just on that point, I mean, that's three wins from the first four games. How do you keep this, this form going? Well, I mean, <clears throat> like I said, it's early. And um, obviously you want to stay healthy. Um, and it's about having everybody buying in. And I think that when you get along off the ice, and, and you've probably heard me say this a number of times already, but when you have quality people that get along and want to play for each other, it helps. Um, you know, we'll be getting out in the community more and you guys will be doing a lot. When people can put um, a face and an individual's personality to the name bar that they're cheering, um, it brings that crowd and player much closer. I mean, I, I, I harked on it at the Jersey launch about m my first experience here through the 500 club is you got thrust into a room and you got answered, you answered questions and you, but you immediately knew people. And that close relationship between fan and hockey player is one that maybe has been a little bit lost over the years, not only in this building, but in, in others. Um, but um, if we can create a positive atmosphere in this building, in our dressing room, and, and, and we kind of stand as one here. Um, you know, this team is capable of putting on those performances most, if not all, nights. Um, just briefly on, on the game last night, um, the loss to the Belfast Giants, but it was a really close, a really close encounter. Yeah, funnily enough, like probably our worst performance of the year. And I guess it's heartening that knowing that um, we could play to a level that's not acceptable. Um, that we can remain in hockey games. Uh, we, we, none of us were happy with her performance. You could make excuses um, about any of it, whether it be the travel or, or, or weariness or whatever, but the fact of the matter is, is that the guys in the rec recognize, just like the coaching staff, that that is an unacceptable performance. We challenge guys to be better tonight, and they answered the bell. So I think it's really heartening that we can turn that around so quickly we didn't have to make any changes so what we're doing we're quite capable of accomplishing but it's very important that um, we don't get ahead of ourselves and we, we take it a game at a time and, and come out and you have to lay it on the line every night it's just not good enough coming and giving 75 percent to a game uh, just finally from speaking to the imports i know that how much they enjoy the, the new ones that come in the, the scottish derby last last sunday against Brayhead, and we've got a big one next saturday at home to dundee stars yeah, I mean, it, it just keeps coming. I mean, you know, Dundee, arguably our closest rivals over the years. Um, the Brayhead uh, matchup has really kind of grown and grown and grown every year. But there's always that a little extra edge to a Dundee game. Everybody wants to draw first blood. We get them at home in the Challenge Cup. Um, they put on some good performances themselves. We, they have some returning guys, some guys we don't know a lot about. Um, but you can guarantee there's going to be some fireworks and, um, you know, it's going to be another good performance. So I think that, um, you know, certainly the message um, that, w that we're putting out is, um, you know, buy into what we're doing. And this thing, this is what we're capable of happening night in, night out. So... Um, it's early, early days. We really need to get Philly back into this lineup urgency, urgently rather. But I mean, it all depends on what you know our off-ice team have to say. We'll be taking advice from them. Um, but y y you thrust Phil Paquette into this lineup, and we become instantly even better. Cheers, Doug. Thank you. Thank you. The Bay Hotel, where your dream wedding becomes reality. Visit us at thebayhotel.net.